All right, Shalom. So I forever give all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. All right, we got to entitle this video just something that will kind of, is always good to go over. Um, it's about your family. Okay. Because I noticed, um, just being around people that you know, family members, and, and, and even some brothers that are in the faith may not have, um, or in this world, in this work, may not have the level of faith you have. And, and particularly in the world, they don't have faith at all, man. Faith is a gift. Okay. No, so I said faith is a gift, a precious gift. Okay. And not all men have it. All right. So I'm going to kind of go into this a bit. And then it's more so about the fakes and the works. Because once you have faith, it, it emboldens you, if you will, to, 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 speak, to speak freely uh, in the spirit of your Habashim Yahshai. It, it makes your works uh, um, progress more and more. All right. And that's what this is about. If you don't have, if you don't have faith, then you're not going to uh, take action. Uh, in, in the works. So let me let me read on it. So I'm gonna start with Hebrews 11 um, and one. It says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." That's the straightforward definition of what faith is: the substance of things hoped for, the things that you expect. What what gives you that expectation? Your works. The Lord said, "If I do this, if I feed the lambs, if I keep all faith, if I..." Keep the doctrine 100 percent. If I show burly love and charity, if I do alms, you know, if I if I can uh, um, maintain a good report, you know, if if I'm if I'm building brothers up, if I'm if I'm rebuking sharply if necessary, um, with being a uh, whether you're a leader or you know the, the head of a camp or if you're you know an elder of a camp or whatever. Or you're uh, the, the youngest man following in the camp, you know, that's just coming into the faith. Either way, your position should be solidified in, in humility unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, down unto those men through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Not because you're a respective person, but simply because you're trying to do the right thing, you know, as far as your faith goes, because you're doing it according to what the scripture has said, okay? For it's the evidence of things not seen, and the evidence of it of your faith is that hey we will get a reward for this even though it looks like we may never get a reward we may never get out of this place and our people and most of our people have that have that air or look about them like this is the way the world's supposed to be but this is the way life is supposed to be uh, i'm about to go to work monday and i'm about to start saving up so i could you know and got future plans on it. The Most High told you not, told us not to make future plans, but they don't have that type of faith. They just believe in this system, and they believe in Egypt, man. They believe in in this captivity, and in in in, 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 the, in the um in the philosophies of our of the slave masters. Okay, they believe if they do, they go to college and get a good degree, and they work, and they they buy a house, and they get married, and they have all this American dream bullshit, that their life will be all right. Well, it ain't. It's not what the Most High said. You don't see all the wickedness going on in the earth. He's got to come back sometime soon. And this, because the, the people of this generation now are the ones that really fucking the world up, man. And and, and it's going to come with a sore destruction when he comes. So your works and your faith is what will help you get out of those things. Okay? Because this goes with the other lesson that I want to do. Um... That goes on with it. I'm not in position right now to do the big long lesson that I want to, but this one is just one that kind of leads into it. It's it a prerequisite, if you will. Okay, so it says, um, for by it the elders obtain the good report. Okay, the men that, that are still in the faith, the men that have been in the faith long before you, and then in this chapter particularly, the men that's named throughout the Bible. Okay, the apostles have, have obtained a good report. How? Because they're still in the faith, still leading, still in the spirit. Guiding us through things that we didn't even see coming. They're already addressing ahead of it to, to, to protect the flock. 
You have to be wolves around this part. So I'm going to shepherd you away from those things. You know, I'm going to show you how, how not to get, out, get caught out there wandering away from the flock, away from the body, that, that, the, that the wolf can't come through and get you. Okay? Excellent shepherds, the apostles of Great Millstone are. Okay? Anyway, it says, uh, verse 3, Through faith we understand that the world was framed by the, the word of the Most High, so that things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear. It was by the word of the Most High, and then he start, you know, went deeper with the elements and all those other things to put it all together. The sciences that it takes to put it all together. It says, um, by faith Abel offered up, excuse me, uh, offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. Okay, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, because he brought the proper offering. Okay, and Cain did not. It says, um, the Most High testified of his gifts, and by it he being dead. Yet speak, talking about Abel. By faith, Enoch was translated. Okay, he got beamed up. He didn't have to see death. Okay, it says that he should not see death. <laughs> he should not see death and was not found because the Most High had translated him. He got beamed up, man. Okay, he got, he got to go directly to the spirit world without going through the grave, man. Without going through the death process. Okay. It says, um, for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the Most High. Okay? Verse 6. But without, and you can read about all these people in, in these scriptures. I'm not going to go through every, you know, person in, in, in this chapter about the works throughout the Bible. Okay? But you can you can do that. Pick, pick one and go through them if you like. You know? But anyway, verse 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. Okay, when you when you sit around counting the cost, you gotta testify that he is. Okay, that he that the, the Most High is real. God is real. Okay, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That he will give you the blessings as he said he would. will give you the blessings that he said he would but without um, um, fear I mean faith it is impossible to please the most high okay and from that from this verse on down it goes particularly into to the men that have faith now I'm gonna go back up a little bit um, verse 39 it says and and these all having obtained a good report through faith not through their works but through faith and through their faith, the works that they're known for were produced. Okay. Obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. And they still didn't receive the promise in, no, in that incarnations. Okay. Having the most high, excuse me, the most high having provided some better things, better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. But will be made perfect in the, after this incarna incarnation, if you will. Okay, the elders from the scriptures that this chapter particularly listed, they had a good report and they were approved of the Most High because of their faith. Well, how much more now that those same men being back in the flesh will, will, will please the Most High through their faith, and through their acts of faith, through their works of faith. Okay, because to prove your faith, you have to have the works that, that go through it. You can say, oh, I'm the greatest three-point shooter ever in life but if you don't go out there and put them shots in that basket it's, it's not showing you got to prove it man showing and proving you got to do that okay you make that claim that you're a prophet you want to uh, make the claim that you're a man of the Lord you got works of a man of the Lord you want to you, you claim you fear the most high you got to do the things pertaining to his fear Okay? You want salvation? You got to do the thing pertaining to your salvation. Okay? Go from there to James. James chapter 2. Let's start up around 16 or so. I think it's 17. Um, um, what is this? Uh, 
verse verse 17 even so faith if it have not works is dead being alone okay if you have you can say you got faith it's just like love you can say you love somebody but if you don't do the things to prove that you love it because love is an action word just like faith is an action word okay when you say you have faith now you got to do the things that prove you have faith if you say you love somebody then you do the things that prove that you have love for, for that person or, or those things okay and I, I, I love I love the like New Jersey I, I Don't, but you treat your mom like shit and she needs you to do something like you know and on and on you can use that analogy on and on and on but particularly about faith you can't prove you have faith to the most high without going through the trial by fire that that's set before you okay by by enduring all the hardships that he put through you it's easy to say you got faith and, and, and easy to do the works when things is going good but when things is going bad you're still gonna feel the same way because that's when your faith will really be tested Okay. Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. Okay, yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works. Show me your faith without thy, your works. You can't. You can't show me your faith without. They're not separate, they go hand in hand. Okay. And I will show thee my faith by my works. All right, and I'll show you my faith by my works. Why? Because we on the streets every week. Because we stay to show ourselves approved unto the Most High. Because we give diligence to make our calling and election sure. Okay. Because we're we're, we're exhorting um, um, unto the brotherhood. Okay. Because we're, we're we're praying to the Most High. We're all the things are fast, and we're doing all these things that that's required of us to prove that we have faith in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay. You got you to gotta prove it. It's easy to talk about it, man. You can say, oh, this and that, but you got to prove it. Okay? And this generation will allow you to just say something without back. If you speak on that you can do something or you about something, you got to show the proof in the pudding, man. Okay? So verse 19, Thou believest that there is one power, Yahweh, Thou doest well. The devil also believe and tremble. He knows it too. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? <laughs> if you're not trying to, trying to uh, uh, get that wicked spirit off of you that when they hop on you, if you're not trying to exhort brothers, man, and, and feed the lambs and feed the, the sheep, going out teaching, doing, doing all the things that, that, that prove you're making your body a living sacrifice, Taking the low. If you're not doing that, man, the Most High is not dealing with you. You don't have the faith. Pray for it that you may be increasing your faith. Dear, a lot of people in this time, you look, uh, which I like that, but you look, look on here, and you'll see all the people boasting about what they can and what they can't, you know, what they got and what they, uh, they can do and all this, but they're not proving what they got, what they can do. Okay? They'll say this and that, but they but they they don't want to have to step up and prove it. The Most High is looking for those workmen that's out there proving that building man. They're not just saying, "Oh, I want to build, I want to build back the kingdom of God." With the Most High, you know, but uh, but but not putting in the works that it takes to do it. Because not dealing with that. All right, reading on it says, "Um, yeah, I might as well keep going." It says, uh, was Abraham not our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac, his son, upon the altar? Yeah, he did something to prove he had faith in the Most High. The son the, the son of the, the free woman, man, Sarah's son. He had to, oh, oh my, this is my, this is, oh, man, from the Israelite, oh, man, I, I can't, yeah, oh, man. But guess what? He did it. All right? Seeing that, seeing how, And by works his was faith made perfect. And by your works, your faith is made perfect. You can have faith, but if you're not willing to, 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 to prove your faith, because the most high is gonna try you. And when he tries us, it's trying our faith in him, man. Okay? That's what this is about. The most high tries our faith. When we're going through this trial by fire, 
He's putting us in situations to see if we're going to act carnal or we're going to be in the spirit and have faith in him and prove our faith in him by the works that, that we do uh, within that trial, man. Not rushing to get out of it, just, just taking it as it is and doing the things necessary to get through it. Okay? It says, um, in the scripture uh, was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believeth the Most High, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of the Most High. Yeah, because he proved his faith. He, pr he, pr he proved faith unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Okay? He proved faithful unto them. Okay? See, then, how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Okay? By faith a man is justified. By works a man is justified and not by faith only. You gotta have both. Performing the law doesn't prove you have faith. Okay? Alone, that's not enough. Many people claim that they are holier than now. Hey, um, by, by the way, the, 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 the works of the law don't get you into the kingdom of heaven. It's based on faith. But it's faith in your works. Whereby ye have believed. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Um, yeah, let me, let me read 24 again. Uh, ye see then how that by works a man is justified, not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? Yeah. When they were, when they went, I believe it was in Gideon. I believe it was, or was it Jericho? But yeah, maybe it was Jericho. Yeah, and they went out to Jericho, and she she hit them when they knew that the spies were, were in town. The Israelite spies were there. She hit them and said, "Hey, but but justify me by not killing me." I'm gonna say, "Put the put the red cloth on through you when we run through this town." For as the body. Without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Yeah, if your body don't have a spirit, man, then, then you, you, you can't live. No matter how fresh or tight or strong the, the flesh may look, without the spirit in it, man, you ain't got it. It can't live. The same thing without uh, your faith without the works. All right, I'm going to close out with this. i make it too long, but kind of getting to the point of it. you got to have the works to prove that you have faith, man. Okay, and that yields a reward from that. Okay, Second Andrews chapter nine, verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved, and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Okay, so if you're gonna escape all the perils that's coming to the world, okay, and all all the all the all the martial law, the the, the hour of temptation, the time of Jacob's trouble. If you're going to endure all those things, the famines, pestilences, if you're going to endure all those things, it's going to take your faith and your works to do it, man. Okay, it's going to take both. All right? The whole, and, and then the whole enchilada of charity, the whole nine, man. Okay? It says, um, uh, shall be uh, preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. I have chosen them as a grape of the cluster that won't be messed up, man. That won't that won't uh, see torment to that. Just you know, some will be martyrs. Okay, let's not act like that ain't gonna happen. Some will be martyrs, but they gonna hold fast in their faith even unto death. And that's the works when they when they prove and swine's flesh or, or, or bowing down to no idol or, or none of this crazy stuff. That you're trying to torture me with? Hey, like the Maccabees said, hey man, just kill me. What can we say? We're not going to give in. Just kill me. And so they, they got pissed and it was like, fuck it, kill him. Okay? And that's the type of mind state you got to have about it, man. These works can't be compromised with because you have to prove your faith. All right? And this is how you prove that you have faith by the works that you do. So so when a, when a brother need... Uh, counseling or advice or just want to chit chat because the spirit is low with a jake that come by that that may be sincere but but coming off with an attitude you gotta see through that you know 
when, when it's two in the morning and you're dead tired, but you, you know, you just want to get through that one more chapter or knock out that one more video, you know, whatever the case may be, man, to prove your works, you got to do it. Okay. Whatever is on your spirit to do to prove your your faith w with action, man, that's what that's what we got to do. Okay. Because what's the what's the rather? As a matter of fact, I'll keep reading and, and, and tell you the rather. It said, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. If you're not going to uh, prove your faith by your works, then you're going to be destroyed, man. You will not be preserved. Okay? The Most High going to kill you, man, in a very painful way. Okay? So the trial that's coming is a trial of our faith, man. And how do we prove uh, worthy of the, of the positives that happen for, for, for keeping the faith? We prove it by our works. All right? So Lord willing, this was edifying, man. So giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, that belongs to the apostles and elders of that great millstone. apostles uh, send down the, 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 the pike to us okay that, that come down uh, these orders and these commandments that are sent down from the apostles you gotta take those things in faith man and do them as the works as if you know if Yahweh Shai himself said it man because through the spirit that's where it's coming from from, from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Yahweh through the spirit man unto the apostle elders man all the way down you got to take it because they're, they're sincerely trying to earn their salvation by watching for our souls as well. Okay? So they don't want to mess up, but they got to protect the flock to the best of the ability. And, and we can't be the ones that's messing this thing up, man. We got to have this body tight-knit and in shape, man. Fitly locked together. All right? So the works that they're asking us to do, whether it be the videos, whether it be to wear pants at camp. Hey, and we in Vegas, man. So it's hot here. It ain't no, ain't, we ain't gonna buck up. It ain't high work down here. You know? It shouldn't work like that nowhere. Okay? The, the apostles say wear real shoes. Regardless, man, that's what it is. You gotta know and believe and have faith that the things that's coming through them are coming through the Spirit and it's for your, for your benefit. Why those decrees went out? Okay. All right. You gotta take this thing in faith that that, that if you believe that the, that the, that the breakdowns that the apostles are giving us are the truth, and you gotta believe that that when they bring these decrees down to us, that they're also the truth, and they're they're for through the same spirit. All right. So anyway, with that, I'm. Lord, when it was edifying, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh, Kakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, who rule well and feed the flock and guide the flock and shepherd over the flock in the righteous way of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto those that give their life and diligence and much love unto you, man, that they're giving your life, diligence, and, and freedom to earn your salvation. To you, I say Shalom.